Hello everyone. Today we're doing the Trial of the Ruby. It's the Carbuncle 3-star um, upgrade battle. We're going to be using a budget team, which means we're not using rainbows and we're not using trust mastery. Uh, so the team I'm using is going to be uh, Mystia for taking the magical damage. Now she is geared for um, uh, Holy Resist. I'm sorry, my mind went blank for a moment. Uh, you want 150% Holy Resist to immune the AoE after the Imperil. And she'll also be doing Clear Veil for Stop Immunity. Uh, Beach Time Fina is going to be my Mana Regen and Healer. Now she's got, you know, just plus Spirit Gear, etc. Uh, Setzer is going to be my Damage Dealer because he can bypass the defenses of the boss with his fixed damage. But he's going to be using a Wind Weapon to take advantage of the Imperil from Lexa. And he's got some Beast Killer equipped because that does influence his fixed damage. Uh, that's really all that matters for him. His attack is not important. Uh, Lexa is a chainer. Now she's just geared for plus mana regen, etc. You know, she's not really for damage. And other Lexa, same thing. She's only for building a chain with Tornado, so she just got some mana regen geared on. Uh, so the missions are summon Diablos, um, five man team, and finish the boss with magic. Uh, so the method we're using is we're going to be keeping him in his like weakened state and we're not using dark damage which means he won't ever transfer to his enraged state and it makes it slow but easy. So let's get into it. So the first turn Carbuncle will not attack you. He'll just set up his... Um, it's like buffs and debuffs or whatever. Or his buffs. Uh, so Mystia is going to try tell you all for cover. Uh, the Lexes are going to chain Tornado. Now you can use you know, Shantoto, etc. The only thing that matters is the, um, the Tornado spell. We can even use like William for Quake or something. Uh, and we're going to double dice cap that chain. So we wait just a moment, and then we use double dice. Now it's random damage, so it can deal low or high. Okay, so it did 9% that round. That's good. And then Beach Time Fina is going to refresh your nail. Alright, so there's his like, mode change. He goes to easy mode, and as long as you don't deal dark damage twice on him, he'll stay in this easy mode. So we're going to clear Veil to prevent the stop that's coming soon. Uh, Beach Fina is going to use um, Shiva's Offensive Freeze to break the boss's magic. And then we just deal some damage. Now eventually the Esper Gage will fill up from these tornadoes and we can summon Diablos for that mission. But we're just hoping for a good roll with Setzers from now on out. Okay, decent roll. And now Carbuncle will begin attacking us, by the way. Now, as you can see, Mystia is immune to the uh, Holy Nukes, even with the Imperil, and she's covering the rest of it. <coughs> and his damage is very, very low, as you can see here. Uh, so we'll just guard. We'll just cure. That's all we need is, you know, cure one. <laughs> we don't even need the good cure. Alright, so we'll dual black, tornado, tornado, and we'll double dice again. And this is this is pretty much the whole fight, like, you know. Because we're not dealing dark damage twice to the boss, he's never going to phase change and never deal his big damage. Alright, so we need to put our buffs back up. Refreshing ale. 
you chain tornado. We didn't get enough Esper Crystals quite yet, so we'll do that in a moment. All right, so that was a low, a low set to roll, unfortunately. Now that'll happen because his damage is, like I said, it's random. It's a 20% chance of like basically no damage, a 20% chance of very low damage, 20% chance of average damage, and 20% chance of high damage, and then 20% chance of really high damage. Now you can enhance Setzer, and that makes his um, his skills much his random damage much like less random. It's still random, but he has better odds of the good stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and summon Diablos. And then for this turn, we'll discard these two because there's no point in attacking if we're not doing the whole chain. And that mission is now complete for summoning Diablos. Um, I was going to mention something. I forgot what. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and do a cure. And, yeah, so the fight is now basically, you know, complete. At this point, we just take it slow and steady and finish the boss. We've done the missions. And we're hoping for Setra to get some good high damage rolls. Oh, another low roll. Yeah, so anyway, so, so because my my scepter is not enhanced, it's only a 40% chance of getting a good roll each turn. You know, a 60% chance that the turn is basically a waste. But as you can see, it is very, very safe. Now this would be far quicker if we had the reload button. You know, patch 3.0, where are you? Uh, let's see, so we're going to Tornado. We're going to hope for a good roll on Setzer. Oh, another worthless roll. Exciting fight. And Delta dice. Ooh, another terrible roll. That sucks. <laughs> Maybe I should have enhanced Setzer. But it's not, really, it's not really worth it just for this one fight. Like Setcher is fixed, his fixed damage is you know gimmicky. It works on a few things, but for the most part, like it'll it'll almost never be used again after the, after this. So I didn't bother I didn't bother enhancing him. I'll just take a few extra rounds on this fight, or possibly a lot of extra rounds. Oh, terrible rolls. And depending how much longer this goes on, I might pause, or like skip ahead in this video because you know the fight, the fight. There is there is no more difference in this fight. Like this is the entire fight. We're doing the exact same thing for the whole rest of it. Hmm. 
which I realize is not the most exciting thing to watch. Okay, there's a good roll. Really good roll, actually. Alright, there's his threshold. He does that every now and then. But it's no big deal. It just slows the fight down even further. So, the usual. And after this turn, I might skip ahead the video, because, uh... I know this is kind of dull. Yep, low roll again. Alright, so I'm going to skip ahead, and I'll see y'all when the boss is close to dead. Alright guys, uh, it's turn 43, as you can see, um, I've been doing the fight slowly, Carbuncle is almost dead. Uh, one thing I will mention, I forgot to mention uh, previously, is when the Carbuncle gets low in life, he'll start casting Reflect on your highest spirit unit, which is probably your healer. Uh, so as you can see, Beast Time Fiend has been taking a little bit of damage, but it's fine. You can heal her with an item if need be, or you can cast a spell like with Lexa and bounce it off of Fina to use the Reflect, and then heal her. But it's more of an annoyance than an actual threat. Uh, but anyway, at this point, we're just hoping for a um, high roll on Setra to finish this fight off. Let's go ahead and dual black, tornado, tornado. And as soon as we get another high roll of Setra, we'll, we'll win. Oh, not quite. Yeah, as you see, every, every now and then, the boss uh, will hit Fina because Misty is slow at covering. And her life is slowly ticking down because she's not getting heals because she has the um, reflection debuff. Or buff, I guess. Uh, let's see. Clear Veil. Break the boss. But we might win here if we can get a high roll of Setzer. Double dice. Let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but not quite. That was like a average roll, which is only does about one percent. So here you'll see, like, the heal bounces off of Fina and heals the boss instead, but whatever. Ah, uh, let's see, double dice. And if Fina gets critically low, you know, I'll just drop an elixir on him or something. But she's not going to. Because we're going to finish right here. Let's hope for it. Nope. How many low rolls in a row is that? That's a bunch. Alright. Double dice. Did we finish this fight out? Tired of Carbuncle. Oh, there it is. Okay. Finally, finally. Got a good roll. And as you saw, the tornadoes continued to hit the boss after the boss was dead. So that gives us finish with a magic credit. Oh, that was a long fight. Y'all were lucky. I skipped ahead in the video. <laughs> But there it is, all missions. Alright, I'll see y'all for the next trial.